Hey, so I wanted to make a quick video about ignoring 3D and um, why I think you should, how I think if you struggle with this, you can opt to look at those events that seem like they are bad things. Um, <clears throat> and I'm, of course, coming from my own experience here. Um, one thing that I've noticed is that often I, I am absolutely wrong about my assessment of the whatever the thing is that is getting me all riled up. Um, often I have read meaning into something that isn't there. Um, often it's uh, something will happen that is like um, a partial trigger for another thing that I don't have completely resolved yet like um you you know if you have abandonment issues i'm trying to think what the big ones are um it turns out i had no idea it turns out that i have like an abandonment thing um and i only figured that out by kind of reverse engineering certain reactions i was having to things and then realizing that those reactions go hand in hand with abandonment issues that, that's the only way that i know that i have them i don't even quite understand where they came from but um, I do understand that, um, you know, I have a, uh, I'm more readily, I, how do I put this? Like I'm, I'm, I will more quickly jump to feeling like somebody is leaving me. I will read that into things, um, when it's not there. Like if there's even a hint of that, um, Thankfully, I don't have any kind of crazy emotional reactions to things generally, but like I, I'll start to feel like, you know, I'll start to be like, is, you know, is there a meaning here? Is there like, what's this person trying to say really? You know, um, it just kind of, you know, it's one of my areas that is not just fully healed. I don't know if it ever will be, but realizing this about myself, um, I can almost like, I can almost always predict that if I'm having a really big emotional reaction to something and it looks like to me, it it is in opposition to whatever I'm wanting to create in my life, um, I can almost at this point just say, oh, if I'm reacting this way, it's almost definitely, it almost definitely doesn't mean what I think it does, you know? So I'm just gonna have to experience this unpleasant temporary feeling until my mind writes itself and I'm able to see clearly again. Um, and that is, that is really not an easy thing to get control of because most people think that their emotions are reality. Um, they think that most people don't realize that their perception is horribly skewed. Most people think their perception is dead on. Um, you know, if you think of all the people you know that aren't really into this stuff, most of them, I think, probably think of themselves as being pretty well rooted in reality. But as we all know, reality is not something that we all experience um, together. We each experience our own reality in our own universe. Um, and that's it. Uh, we, we don't experience anyone else's reality. So, I mean, just starting to understand that your perception is is colored by thoughts and beliefs um and the more unresolved things you have the more your reality is being colored by things you don't even realize you know the more you can understand that um the more you can start to kind of dig into it and get control over these reactions i mean if you at least understand that your perception is skewed in general then when you have these emotional reactions you can catch them and stop like freeze you know um and then you can not make any rash decisions based on your emotions in those moments um and that i think um when it comes to ignoring uh 3d reality um you have to learn to do that in order to stay sane if you're trying to um make a big shift or you know, I know I'll just go for the specific person category because I know that's why a lot of people watch this. Um, 
it's also of course true with money uh you know it's another big one for people it's um and it's similar you know when you're trying to build your wealth or get ahead there are things that look like setbacks or little time bombs that come back you know from the past and some people just let that completely derail them derail their mentality other people are able to get control of their reaction to that and just continue forward um, and it's the same thing with the specific person um, realm. Now, I'm going to be upfront and say that as of right now, I have not done, like, I don't have any experience just like being out of contact with somebody and conjuring them into my reality in some form that I want them to. I just, so I'm going to preface it with that. All of my experience in the people realm is with people I'm already in contact with. And I gotta tell you, like that to me is just really easy. If you're already in contact, especially regularly, like if you're already talking to somebody all the time, um, uh, you can absolutely, I think, make almost anything you want happen. Just because you're already, you know, um, you have, you can believe so much more, I think, when you're actually involved um, then when you have to just kind of rely on your faith in divine intelligence creating the situation that will bring you together with somebody who you're not even in contact with. I am sure that that works. I just don't have any experience with it, so I don't want to speak on it. But um, so when you're waiting for this thing to happen or you're kind of watching the outer world um, for what's happening towards your manifestation or whatever uh 3d reality events that happen um you have no way of objectively assessing what those things mean um in two ways one something that looks bad can turn out to be a part of a series of events that leads to a good thing so you can't, you know, it's just, it, it doesn't, it behooves you to use a word that my mom likes to use. It would behoove you to not assign meaning to something and to stay conscious of the fact that you don't know how this plays into the outer overall chain of events. But just in hardcore reality, you don't really know what 3D events, events mean most of the time. I mean... Okay, if your if your specific person is standing at the altar marrying someone else, um, I don't know if I can speak to that. But you know, somebody blocking you somewhere or um, words being said, things like that are um, so easily uh, misconstrued. You know, um, people have a lot of reasons for blocking people from social media. You know. Um, I've blocked people from being able to text me and it had nothing to do with me hating them or anything. It was just that I could not handle them having access to me because of my own needing to get over it or something, you know, or, um, you know, sometimes you say something and you don't realize how it comes off to another person. You mean it one way and they take it another way. This happens all day, every day. I mean, it's amazing that we ever understand each other at all, if you ask me, but when you are looking to somebody else's words or behavior and trying to interpret what the meaning is of that in this context, it's useless. It's a waste of time. Um, and over the last six weeks that I've had my friend Steve staying with me, I've seen this firsthand three or four times. There were a few days, um, we spent basically all the time together. I went to work you know, for a few hours during the day but most of the time we were here together. And there were a couple of days where he was very um, short with me. He was, he just didn't really engage with me at all. And like, we, we were here all day and like we barely spoke to each other. A couple days in a row, a couple times. And both times I just, I didn't know what to make of it. And I felt kind of hurt. And I thought it was weird and I took it really personally. Um, you know, I was like, oh, he doesn't want to be here or, you know, he's annoyed with me or he wishes I wasn't around, 
uh, he wishes I weren't around, you know, or he'd rather be home and he just doesn't feel like, I, whatever. I assigned all this meaning to it and I had a, some shitty days because of it, honestly. Um, and, you know, both times it turned, it turned out after the fact that it had nothing to do with me. Um, you know, it's like we forget that other people are people that have their own lives going on outside of us and that have their own worries and concerns and thoughts. You know, it's so easy to take things personally from other people um, and forget that. And I think and I'm, I'm really the point I'm trying to make is that I really didn't react to those things. I didn't take it and say, OK, well you know, this is indicative of a quality about this person that makes a bad partner. And I don't want to deal with, you know, I just, I'm done with this. Like I had some pretty negative feelings, but I, I didn't do that. Um, and I'm really glad I didn't because, you know, I would have been wrong. I, it turned out that I was wrong about what I even thought in the first place. Um, when you ignore 3d and just sit with your emotions and kind of let them pass, like, clouds in the sky rather than assigning a meaning or making decisions um you know there's a surprising outcome a lot of the time things flow um and you kind of you can kind of flow through those experiences too and come out on the other side where you started and without having backtracked or you know taken a detour or just had a hellacious time trying to figure out what you needed to do when really, you know, there was nothing to do, um, but to continue to focus on the outcome that you want with the certainty that it will come to pass and, you know, just thinking about something else. Um, I think it's important. I don't know about the energetic side of it. I'm not sure. I just had a discussion with this with my ex, my uh, the guy I own a business with. We were just chatting about this and I was saying, you know, I don't know that having bad emotions, Steve left today. Um, he, he has to go back to work tomorrow, finally, after six weeks. And so, um, you know, I was feeling really sad all afternoon and I was, I was talking to my ex about it and, you know, he was like, well, don't stay in this emotional state because you're just creating bad things with this energy. And I, I don't know that I agree with that. You know, you have emotions and I think you have to feel them and, um, I don't think I created anything with mine, but you know, I, I'm not making any decisions about anything either. You know, you know what you want or, or you should figure out what you want. And that's all you really have to know. You don't have to know, um, you don't have to make any decisions today. As my dad likes to say, my favorite dad advice, you don't have to make any decisions today. Um, if you're feeling upset by something that happened in your 3D that seems counter to what you're trying to create in your life. Um, just sit with it, let it pass, uh, focus on something else. And I, in my experience, surprising things come out of that. Surprising things come out of getting good at not reacting. Sometimes something will happen in a period of time, um, you know, within a short period of time after that, that you can almost guarantee wouldn't have happened if you reacted outwardly or, you know, um, did anything other than just kind of be. I don't know. I hope that helps somebody. I just, I just went through this a lot and, um, like it, it really, it, it really is clear to me. So I wanted to share it.